What's going on, everybody? So today we have a new event dropping, I guess, for... By the time this video comes out, it would have been yesterday. So that's, uh, you know, I guess you guys have already had a day for it, but it looks like they're going to be cycling um, these various events that are happening in the game. So initially, our one of our first events in the game uh, was basically, I think it was the divine prototype and it was like a, a unique week one type to get materials or, or do things in the game. You get points to get a free Ravenna copy. Then the second week, we had, um, I believe it was a military expansion along with a elite chapter, which is what it's come back to. And then after that, we had the Thanksgiving event and the Rise of Heroes kind of dropping at the same time. And then as we gone through everything and as the Rise of, or as the Thanksgiving event ended, a Rise of Hero event came back again and an elite chapter event came back again. And this is all important to mention because basically in this game, as you're going through events, do not want to use your resources after you get the best resources in the game for two specific events, the elite chapter. And there's another one uh, with the kind of roulette or, or like the, the draw one, which with which we got Crete from uh, not this one where it's the astral order or anything like that. The one that you just like drop a ticket in and you pull like Crete. Uh, that was the event. I'm not exactly sure what that event was called, but basically you had extra resources after if you saved it and it would have transferred over to the next area. Same with this elite chapter. And this is why it's super important. Do this for these specific events and hopefully every single time an event comes out, I'll let you know if you should save your resources. But if you guys followed my advice or any of the other content creators pretty much in the event shop for the last elite chapter, you will be starting this event out with 40 meteorite crystals. This is a massive deal. As you can see here in the top, we have two Leo copies in the shop. Now, this means that you'll be able to pick up two free copies of Leo in this elite chapter by the time this event ends, which is gonna be massive for most people. I myself um, am gonna be going for Leo. Uh, by the time this video drops, uh, actually, you know what? I'll probably have the summoning after because I'm going to be summoning for Leo after this video drops because I have gotten convinced. I've got convinced. <laughs> and uh, I'll show you guys that in, in that video. But two Leo copies is a big deal because you're going to be able to bring them up to, if we just pull up the evolution menu here, we're going to be able to bring them up to, okay, so we have the base and we're going to be able to bring it up to about mythic level here. Uh, assuming you're going to be able to get that mythic copy from summoning from 60 pity. Uh, so if you're able to get that 60 pity copy plus the two free copies over here, you're going to be able to bring them up to mythic level. If not, uh, you're going to be able to bring them up uh, to epic level, which is still really, really good. So really exciting about that. And it makes it very more, very more, much more appealing to summon for Leo. If you summon for a character, you're like, eh. like if you summon for Zyda, you're like, I need so many copies to summon for her to even be viable because they don't give you a free copy. Same with Skewer and Hattie, to be honest, I feel like I need to summon a, a buttload to make those characters viable. Whereas when you get these free copies, it makes it so much easier. But it's very important that you do not spend any of your meteorites on anything but these triple S's up here. Why? Well, let's just compare it to a couple things else in the shop. We have this hero selection ticket, which uh, to be honest, is just a bunch of decent tanks. Um, but again, that's almost the same as a triple S here, which is ridiculous. Okay. Then we have the limited recruitment cards. But if we compare that to the triple S, triple S is essentially the price of 11 limited recruitment cards and 11 summons plus 11 chips, assuming not on a double chip event, is nowhere near close to a triple S. That's one sixth the, the basic value of a triple s a little bit more than that to be honest because the chips are also value uh valuable so about one fourth the value of a triple s that's not worth it then we have the pain rune these things you're going to get eventually from the terror dome and then we have some of these elite runes and things like that which are definitely not worth it because you'll just get those naturally as you play the game and are certainly less rare than a triple s character so you basically only want to spend on the triple s and then save your meteorites for the next time the triple s comes around or the elite chapter comes around now if you're like me and you already have the meteorites available you'll be able to pick up the triple s and basically be out of meteorites so that'll be perfectly okay 
Then we also have the meteorite dust or the debris here. You'll be able to pick up everything from the shop with the meteorite debris. So all these blue little dust purchases. Last time we were able to pick up everything, I have no doubt that we're gonna be able to pick up everything with the debris this time, so I'm not too worried about that. Definitely prioritize the limited recruitment cards if you can, and then the 24 hour resource packages are gonna be the best value, so you definitely wanna pick up those. Now, it's also important to note that uh, if you guys are kind of strapped for time, we have 14 days for the event. We have 10 little stages in each of these chapters. We have six chapters, which means we have 60 total stages to beat. We get five tickets per day, which means we need 12 days of claiming these tickets to go ahead and pick up everything um, from the Italy chapter. So if you miss a day, don't worry, because you'll be able to pick up the materials as long as you don't miss three days. If you miss three days, you might get a little tricky in there because you won't be able to fi uh, finish all the elite chapters. Um, so definitely be aware of that. But overall, basically everyone should be able to complete this event with very, very uh, little difficulty. I was able to finish the entire event on basically a week two account, free to play. So you should guys should have no problem this event's very easy um it's basically free rewards you really shouldn't have any difficulty completing it um yeah. there isn't really too much to talk about in terms of the difficulty of that but again it is super nice for anyone that has been uh been saving up their meteorites for this event so definitely definitely guys consider summoning for leo one of the things that I really enjoyed about the Emma event is that I was able to get a free Emma copy and then an Emma Hero Evolution event came out. Now, I don't think we're gonna get that with Leo here based on the fact that we got a Mizrani Hero Evolution event just a couple days ago. But with the double Leo copy plus the Leo copy from Pity, that is a lot of copies to really jumpstart your investment into Leo. And honestly, it's one of the best ways as a free to play to get value out of the triple S because I've summoned for basically every triple S yet. Like I have a Crete copy, I have Skewer, I have Mezrani, but Mezrani and Crete are both characters that I don't find very useful right now because Crete is still at an epic level. And so is Mezrani because I only had the two copies. I got the free copy that they gave us, and then I summoned for the 60 pity, which in my opinion is always worth it because getting the 60 pity is much, much better than investing into a gene hybrid later on, unless you have a double chip event. Uh, but you know, you don't have a double chip event as far as we know for a little while. So super important that you guys pick up uh, the free copies. And then of course, if you don't have a huge investment into Crete, I think Leo is an amazing choice. And even if you do, I think Leo definitely offers a few other things um, that Crete does it. But if you guys want my full opinion on that, you'll have to watch my summoning video and my convinced video that I'll be putting out in the next couple of days here uh, that I'll have to record. Because again, as I said, I got convinced uh, by a couple of pieces of content out there. So thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed, be sure to like the video, sub to the channel. Again, hopefully you guys are cashing in on your double Leos. Super amazing. This game just throws you champions everywhere. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow.